Hi, this is Frank Taylor at Nature at Your Door, and I'm here this morning with one of my favorite animals. This is a black rat snake. Locally, sometimes we call it a black snake, which yields confusion with black racers and black king snakes. This is, in fact, a uh, black rat snake. The rat snake species, this genus, varies widely in its color morphs across its range. And in some places, it's obviously not black at all. But locally here, we like to refer to this as a black snake. Characteristics, you can see it has uh, keeled scales and it has a white, very distinctive white chin and a marked underbelly like that. And they're kind of shaped in cross section like a loaf. So today, I'm going to talk about six fascinating facts about black snakes that you may not have known. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. Fact number one, many black rat snakes are quite docile like this one. I, this one was out on the road uh, basking in the sun in front of my house, so I decided I would pick him up and bring him here. But other rat snakes will act very defensive, particularly if they're cornered. They'll coil up, they'll strike, they'll hiss, and they'll do a thing where they'll vibrate their tail. And if they vibrate their tail in dry leaves, it sounds just like a rattlesnake. Rat snakes are usually moderate in size, but some of them can reach up to nine feet long. Can you imagine that? So these snakes can be considered to be one of the largest snakes in North America. Another amazing thing about rat snakes is they'll often den in the same hibernaculums as rattlesnakes. So this snake was once called locally as the pilot snake because it was thought that these guys would pilot the rattlesnakes to these dens, that they would show them the way to the uh, dens and the rattlesnakes would follow them. Fact number four, when these snakes are out conspicuously lying in the sun, they'll sometimes kink up their body in a very black rat snake characteristic kind of way. And it's believed that this kinking up their body, it's really unique to see makes them look more like a stick and less like a snake so they can lay out undisturbed by predators. So when a predator comes by, like a hawk or a large raptor, what they see is a black broken up stick laying on the ground and not the outline of a snake. Fact number five, and this one's really important. Juvenile black snakes aren't all black. In fact, they're gray with brown splotches. Unfortunately, this leads people to mistake them for copperheads because superficially they may look like that. Check out some of my other videos for how to distinguish a copperhead with 100% certainty and make sure it's not a black rat snake juvenile. So sadly, many, many rat snake juveniles are killed by people thinking they're copperheads because they're clearly not black. So they will lose their juvenile patterns and juvenile colors. And on this snake here, you can still see some of the remaining patterns and it's not completely jet black. Fact number six, black rat snakes are great climbers. They're really semi-arboreal snakes. They'll often climb trees to go up to a den in a cavity for safety. Um, but they'll also climb trees because they're notorious stealers of bird eggs. In fact, um, there's also given the name chicken snake because they'll often show up in chicken coops trying to find an egg. But the benefits of this snake ecologically and around a farm to humans in the number of mice and rats these eat far, far outweighs them stealing an egg now and then. They're really, really important ecologically to keeping down the pest mice and rat populations. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode with my totally favorite, favorite snake. I love these black snakes. I think they're 
beautiful. They're fun to hold in your hands. They're just amazing creatures and a really important part of our ecology. I hope that you do not fear snakes. I often get a lot of people that, that write into me and say that they're afraid of snakes, but watching my videos and learning about them has helped them a lot. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from and interacting with my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again for watching this episode nature at your door.